What is up, YouTube? Desmond here, Ecoast Arb. And today I want to, firstly, I'd like to say I hope everybody's having a good Memorial Day weekend, uh, maybe a holiday for some people, uh, a little bit of a long weekend. Hopefully you're enjoying it with the family and uh, make sure you uh, shout out anybody you know that's been in the service and, and thank them for our service to our country. And uh, that way we could be able to uh, enjoy this holiday uh in, in freedom and uh, that kind of thing so uh, anyways I'm gonna do a little video today this one's gonna be kind of short and sweet for you but uh, I'm gonna show you how um, how I like to reverse source sellers uh, using keep a product finder and uh, it it tends to be a little bit quicker than going through and, and you can you can reverse source people with, with seller amp and, and that's good and dandy and it does work and uh, I'm not going to show this particular seller ID because I don't want to pick on anybody. But you could come through here and, and reverse source. This, this is just a, a random seller I've selected. And you can go through these listings and, you know, open up Amazon links and Google things and see if you can find them profitably. But what we can also do here is we can copy and paste that seller ID into Keepa which I've already done. And you can see they've got uh, 368 products here. But what we can do with Keepa is instead of having to go through all these products manually, we can put a couple filters in and really try to target stuff that we're looking for. So it, it makes our search a lot faster, a ton. So for instance, if you're looking for products that are moving quickly in the, uh, in the beauty category, I would say you could go um, put a filter here at uh, maybe a hundred, a hundred thousand. Let's go eighty thousand. Eighty thousand on our current max rank, and uh, let's do one twenty on our ninety day, and then let's come down and we'll put a buy box filter of at least thirty bucks. And then let's put 25 in our 90 day minimum here. And I don't, that, that actually didn't change anything. And then also we can, let's take out Amazon if I can find that one. Yeah, here we go. So let's do uh, Amazon out of stock. So uh, obviously an arbitrage seller here. You can, you can tell that. Uh, a, a, probably a pretty good arbitrage seller by, or at least I try to target sellers that are similar to me. So I don't compete with Amazon and I try to target people that don't compete with Amazon. Um, I try to target people in a, in a review range that is similar to mine, but a little bit wider. So I, I will look at people that have less reviews than me. I will look at people that have more reviews than me. But I also want to stay in a specific range to where I'm not trying to reverse source sellers that are, you know, steps ahead of me or steps behind me and really try to focus on people that are in similar positions that I am because that's, that's been a real help for me reverse sourcing is, is targeting people that are similarly placed in the Amazon world as myself. So, um. I don't compete with Amazon and you can tell uh, we got 228 products here when I when I take out Amazon on this particular seller we go down to 215 so this seller probably doesn't compete with Amazon either and then let's see so we're down to 215 let's put a couple of let's do max of 10 new offer count here and I'm assuming this seller probably doesn't have any private label products, but we can put in a a filter of three here and um, that weeded out a few, but I would assume that this person in particular probably isn't doing private label. So it may actually be worth it to target those, those couple with just a few sellers and uh bring it back up so we're 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 down to 132 products from our 368 and then you could come in here and let's do a category filter and and now we're down to eight products so you, you can see how quickly you can speed up your reverse sourcing product 
or process when you're looking for specific things and uh, uh most of these look really good there's some buy box stability here and uh just for for fun let's take a look at this first one here and see maybe we'll get lucky and find you a good lead right off the bat um some hairspray here i would think this would be hazmat and uh yeah it is which i am hazmat approved so i i don't discriminate against hazmat products um but uh max cost here of 1676 buy box into 1399 that seems doable um let's take a look you never know e e even stuff that doesn't seem doable especially this weekend memorial day there's a ton of really big sales going on so if you're not sourcing this weekend uh, maybe i can i can uh make you want to because there's a lot of big sales happening and a lot of opportunity out there and it looks like uh this particular brand has got up to 50 percent off favorites here and uh 15 percent on hopefully on top of that was your first order just by probably uh, providing your email address which if you don't already know you can use the catch-all for that and basically be able to use that an unlimited amount of times and uh, looks like most of these are some some bundle kits which may be worth looking up but uh, I'm probably more interested in these single products here and you can see a lot of this stuff is marked way down and um, actually no nope, that's not quite it for Mata rosemary tint but that's a pretty similar looking one let's 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 just open this one up just for fun here and see um it's marked down from 32 to 16. hopefully we can stack that 15 percent code on top of that and uh that would put us at 1360. And it uh, looks like, unfortunately, Amazon is on this one and quite a few other people. It is a good seller with a 37K rank. Our max cost is about 10 bucks here, so that's not going to be profitable for us. But uh, you can come through and reverse or manually source all of this stuff. But um, that's what I like to do with Keepa and really narrow down my reverse searches. Instead of having to go through, you know, 368 products here, we've got our search narrowed to eight. So we, we can burn through this in probably 20 minutes or so. And if we don't find anything, we'll, we'll keep on moving down the list and, and pick another seller and keep moving. And if we do find something, uh, we're going to save this seller and make sure we are, you know, consistently reverse sourcing because just as ourselves other sellers are also continuously bringing on new products and taking off products that aren't doing as good as they want to so it's it's good to when you when you're reverse sourcing somebody and you find something profitably uh it's really good to save that seller id and continue to reverse source those people because you start to notice trends and people that are continuously finding good new products are definitely worth reverse sourcing multiple times and uh, I actually have a whole folder on my bookmark tab here dedicated to reverse source searches and saved sellers that I continuously reverse search and um, find products over and over and over again so um, use that in your Amazon business hopefully you can up your game a little bit and uh, I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet uh, everybody have a good holiday weekend and Thank a service member if you know one. And uh, this is Desmond here with Ecos Arban. We'll see you tomorrow with another uh, good tip for you. So stay tuned.